Okay, so this is just a very quick video on how to use TechSoft 2D Design, the basics. So we're just gonna look at the basic tools that you can use with 2D Design. So on the left-hand side here, I have my toolbox. So uh, uh, everything in here is a tool to help you draw. And on the right here is a help box, okay, which will then help you, uh, which we'll go into a little bit later. So just to show you what you can do, obviously you get, a, you get given a page with, uh, dotted, with dots on it, and the dots are one centimeter apart or 10 millimeters apart. So what I can do here is I can click on a line, for example, and at the moment I can draw anywhere on the page and I can just click, drag, let go, click, and I've got myself aligned. So click, drag, click, click, drag, click. I can do the same with a circle. So this time you click, and that's the center of your circle. You then drag out, and the circle gets gradually bigger. Okay, so you can do that as many times as you want to. There's a shapes tool, which then you click, drag out a square or a rectangle. Again, you can do that as many times as you want. There's the uh, arc tool, which will give you, if you draw a line somewhere and make sure it's straight, then you can change and you can get different angles. There's the path tool, which you click. It gives you a straight line now, but then when you click, you can then start to curve. If you click again, it stops and then you can curve. And then if you keep clicking and moving, this is definitely a tool you need lots of practice with quite a lot, but it's quite a useful tool to be able to go around the outside of images with. Then when you're finished, you double click and you've got your image like so. So those are the sort of basic tools, basic drawing tools anyway, that you can use on 2D design. So I might wanna delete those now. So if I go down to the bottom here, it's got delete any. So this just means it'll delete any shape or anything that you come into contact with you with your hello Kate hand like so. Another thing you can do with 2D design is this text box here. So you click and you can type in some text like so. There it is, okay. Now if you wanna change the font, you double click on the ABC tool, you get lots of different fonts you can choose from. So I'll just click this one, for example. If you wanna change the size of the text, you've got two options. You can either go down to here and change the height of the text, uh, or if you, if I click okay, click row on the text, and again, click hello, there, I get it. obviously a hello different, uh, different font. If I go to the select tool, I select it, I can then drag it and make it bigger or smaller, depending on what I want and where I want it to go. So that's another way in which you can do that. Um, in terms of, so again, there's the select tool. I can select it. If you just press the delete button on your keyboard, you'll be able to delete your images like so. Another useful drawing tool on 2D design is up here. This is called, in your help box, you've got grid lock. Okay. So you click grid lock, take step lock off, click grid lock, go to the line tool. Now, if you watch this, if you click on the dot, you'll notice that the cursor jumps from dot to dot. So this means that if you're drawing a really accurate drawing, that you can draw on the dots only, okay? So you've got two options here. Like say, for example, I wanted to draw a 10 centimeter line. I can either count and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, and click and get a 10 centimeter line. Or if I double click on the line, it asks me how long I want that line to be. Now this only do, only measures in millimeters, okay? So don't put 10, because that'll just give you a 10 millimeter line. You need to put 100 to give you a 10 centimeter or 100 millimeter line. Click okay, and then it'll ask you where you want to locate that line. So if I join it to here, click, you'll notice it's gone white because it's the same length, okay? And then you can come down, and then I want to go down there like so, okay? So then I might click and count again, it's up to you whichever you do. Double click, so 100, like so, and join that up. There's a 10 centimeter box. Now, if I want to put a roof on this, say I'm turning this to a house, you'll have noticed it doesn't fit on the page. We need to move it. So what we do is we go up to the select tool, we click, drag over the top, that selects everything. I then go to the middle, just like I would do with a picture, click and move it down to where I want it to go. And again, it stays on the dots because grid lock is on, okay? so. Here, I can now click, I can now find sort of the center line, and I can add a little roof to my house. I could then use the shape tool then to perhaps add some windows to my house. Just a very quick, not very good, but it's a very quick sort of house like so. Okay, and then you can play around with different options 
like adding a chimney and things like that. So maybe with this, with the chimney they've put on top, is that the lines have overlapped and I wanna get rid of them. But if I go here to delete any, it'll probably get rid of the whole line. I don't want that to happen. Now, the other option is worth knowing is at the top, if I go to edit undo, I want to undo that, delete that line. If I click undo, like so, it re replaces the line. But if I go back up to edit undo, you only get one undo. So if you delete two or three things, it'll only give you back the last thing you deleted. So be very careful with doing design because it only gives you one undo. So with the delete, if I hold down the delete button, the delete button, it gives you delete part. Now it'll only delete part of the line and it'll trim those lines down to where I need them to go. With all the tools you design, if you hold them down, they give you more options. Some of them are quite complicated and, and you know it takes a bit of time to get used to what they actually do and we'll talk about these in future videos. But for now, those are the basic drawing tools. Don't worry about anything sort of from this half down yet, okay? Just do the uh, delete button. Over here, you've also got then the zoom tools. So if you wanna zoom in on your house, you can. If you wanna zoom out on your house, you can. Okay, again, don't worry too much about these other tools yet. We'll talk about those in future videos. But you might just wanna have a little play around with the help tools in the toolbox, sorry, the tools in the toolbox, and have a go at just playing around with basic shapes, drawing them, using the uh, gridlock tool to click on the grid, deleting, images, things like that. And in future videos, we'll talk about more complicated tools to create more complicated drawings later on.